Tens of thousands of fans will be converging on Aaron Hills Golf Course for the U.S. Open Championship each day this week. Most of them are going to park miles and miles away. Vince was up in Chopper 4 taking a look at the options for fans heading out to the tournament. The town of Aaron is miles away from the freeway. The prospect of tens of thousands of cars jamming country roads to get there was not very attractive to event organizers. The principle is to get them off the highways, get fans parked, and be able to bus them up all in a complimentary um, setting. Most fans who are driving will be directed to two parking lots. This is the red lot. It's at the Washington County Fair Park on Highway 45, just south of West Bend. For those coming in from I-94, the blue lot is located just west of Highway 67 and south of the interstate in Oconomowoc. In both cases, fans will board coach buses that will drop them off at the golf course. For someone uh, maybe that lives a little bit more local to Aaron Hills where it doesn't make sense to drive out to I-41 or I-94, we've identified what we call the passenger drop-off, which is going to take place at Aaron's school. Let's take a look at how that drop-off system is going to work. I'll switch to my other camera from up here in Chopper 4, and you can see this is Aaron's school. Cars, cabs, Uber, limo, whoever's dropping you off or picking you up will swing through the circle here. There is also one other way to arrive. Can I ride my bike? Um, if you do ride your bicycle, we'll have some bike rack located at our general fan lots, but also at the passenger drop off where um, the owner can secure that bike to some, to some bike rack. Regardless of how you get to the golf course, your feet will be an important mode of transportation. Depending on where you want to set up for the day, it could be a walk of several miles from the entrance. In Chomper 4, Vince Vetrano, today's TMJ4. Well, it takes a lot to put on a tournament like the U.S. Open. So far, there are 2,500 workers and 5,400 volunteers to help make things run smoothly. 40,000 people are expected at the tournament over the next few days. Well, here's the schedule for the week for the U.S. Open. Today through Wednesday are practice rounds, and then the official tournament tees off on Thursday morning. If there were to be a tie, an 18-hole playoff would then be held on Monday, one week from today. And that would be so exciting, right? To have four days of yeah. golf and then still have it tied after all of that. And you're a golfer. Does that happen a lot, playoffs? I, on a well, the playoffs do happen. Yeah. I don't know how often they've happened in the U.S. Open, but usually they're just a couple of holes to have 18, 18. holes. That's Big deal. That's really fun.